Hello, hello. If you want to see how I am using this planner for all the books August and all the months thereafter, then stay tuned. <music> I'm going to keep saying that because I am very excited about all the books August and today I am featuring my classic happy planner. So what am I using this for? Well, let's get right into it and see. So this is a pretty new addition for me. I showed you guys this in one of my past videos. I decided to make this one my home journal. Instagram and YouTube tracking journal and then like meal planning, fitness, blah, 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 like whatever else is left is going to go in here. Okay. So let's just get right into it. I'm not like a hundred percent done setting it up. I'm just kind of tweaking it as I go and figuring out what works for me. And that's really just the best thing for me to do. So I do have a couple of these sticker packs on the front and the back. I tend to like the functional stickers, so I kind of end up going towards those a little bit more. I did recently find, um, let me take it off so you can see it, find this set. So one has the circles and the other set has the squares. And um, I recently found that, I just did my nails, so I'm not even putting that back in. Uh, I recently found that at Joanne, so I was excited to see that. I do actually need to put this little sticker pack of circles that I got. My daughter makes these. This is her shop, y'all. Doodle Lulu shop. Check her out on Etsy. Um, she does a, a lot of my functional stickers that you see in all of my planning. Um, my daughter makes them and I get to try them out and you know, it's just a perk. <laughs> so, um, so getting to my monthly, I haven't super started putting stuff in here yet, but I'm going to use this monthly for my wellness tracker. I have some stickers and I don't think they're in here. Um, they're probably still in my other wellness planner that I have that I'm considering selling. Um, that basically are for like when I do my nails, get my hair done, any of those types of things. I'm just kind of jotting them down in the monthly so that I can take a look and see what am I doing for my personal wellness just to try and remember that I need to take care of me as much as everybody else in my family. So I love these little laminated cards that you can get for the Happy Planner. Um, and I actually am just using Sharpie pens. And I really wanted to demonstrate something in this video because, y'all, let me tell you. When I find a hack that I really enjoy, let me get a paper towel. Um, I get excited. <laughs> so I know to those of you that, that actually use the happy planner or use these little things, I'm sure you know this hack. Just ignore me if you do, but I'm excited about it and I just want to share it. Let's move this video uh, light a little bit. It's out of the glare of the video. There we go. Um, so I wanted to show this to you guys because for me, I'm like, look. Okay, so you take a dry erase marker. Okay, this is permanent Sharpies. So I have this pack with all these different colors and they're like the click ones because I just love those. Sharpie comes up with lots of colors now. So watch this. You can use alcohol. It does work, but it takes a lot of elbow grease. So you just take the dry erase marker and you write over your permanent marker and I just leave it for a second or so 
then I you they say use a dry erase marker but I don't have one and actually because it does make a bit of a mess I'm gonna put another paper towel under it um, I just use a paper towel so watch this y'all this is so exciting to me here let me zoom in so you can really see it okay permanent marker <gasps> Isn't that just the bomb? Okay, that just got me so excited that now I can use my super colorful Sharpie pens and I don't have to spend half an hour trying to get them off these little dry erase boards because I love them so much and it's so helpful to be able to just use these instead of disposable paper. I could just reuse this over and over again. I absolutely love that. So. With that being said, I had to show that to you guys because I was like, I can't do this like planner flip and not show them that hack because that's exciting. <laughs> so that's that and haven't really used this for a whole lot yet, this one, um, but it did come in a pack and I'm using the other one. So I will show you. So obviously didn't have it this week. So this is the week that I started planning in it. And I'm mostly doing functional stuff right now. Not doing a lot of decorative stuff. Um, I recently listed the house for sale. So I was just putting, tipping, you know, adding pages to help me remember like what I needed to take pictures of. I have recently started zone cleaning in my house because I need to keep it nice and clean and keep it keep up with it since we have it listed for sale I don't want to have to go crazy at the last minute so this so what I did was I broke my sections into three sections so YouTube and Instagram um, home and wellness so in theory this bottom one will be for like exercising and like if I read a book or journal or any of that stuff, it's blank right now. I did take this whole day off for the most part. I did have a showing in the afternoon, but took most of the day off to celebrate my mom's birthday with her. And so I just kind of wrote that in there. So then this is this week. So I did add just a little bit of color. I did some washi tape on the bottom and some stickers that I got from Happy Planner. And um, I did want to show you guys, I don't think I put the new one in the next week. Oh yeah, I did. Um, I'll show you guys the stickers that my daughter made for me. Let me just jump ahead because I got to show these because I'm just so excited. She made, so these are, YouTube, you can see that there, let me zoom in. So there's the YouTube sticker, a home sticker, which this one is so cute, look at that. And then a wellness sticker. And then she, we, I just did like a breakdown for my Instagram. She did like a little Instagram tab sticker that I can just kind of keep in here. So I'm super excited about that because now I can like really track my, um, you know, it just looks, it just looks more polished with that on there versus me handwriting it in. So I just had to show that off because I was excited about it. She did a good job. So. What am I using this for? So the top line is all my social media. This is for my zone cleaning. And so I have this little tab you see here, it says clean. So I decided to make this little half sheet laminated page my zone cleaning. And so basically I broke it up into seven zones for seven days of the week. And I have all of the things that I have to do for each zone each day. So basically, I just put this stuff back in here and then add anything that I might have additional that needs to be done around the house. And I'll just do that so on for each day and, um, you know, for the week. So I, I just keep up with my cleaning stuff on that. So I also have on here, so this is like my YouTube and Instagram one that I'm tracking like 
video ideas and then like whenever I get ideas from people here from you on YouTube or from Instagram I write them down so I can note them so that's something that maybe I can work on doing a video so that I'm giving you guys the content that you're looking for so um, and then just kind of doing like little weekly goals for what I really want to do um, for the week and so th those are the things that I have and I already got my nails done did them to my I do them myself because can't afford to get them done so I have to do them on my own but um, did those today so that's done and then those are just ideas so then I have the meal planner which I'm super excited about this one this is what we're having tonight I need to fill out the rest of the week but um, I can just keep reusing this. And then it has the little things here for um, the grocery list. I do have some little half sheets that I have recently gotten. I'll probably use um, to have like a running grocery list so that I could just pull it out and take it with me. So that is in the works. I already had like a little list thing that I do, but I, I need to do it. So I'm keeping it in here. And then, um, this was that one with the square that I was talking about. I can't really see it, but believe me, they're square. And then I made, I made this little, um, divider tab and put a planner society sticky pocket on it. These are all of those stickers that my daughter made for me. She also made these like really cute appointment sticker ones as well. So I can kind of keep track with that because I've been using those a lot more. So yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing with this one. Um, this one does have some other tabs. So it has this chores one, which I am just kind of looking at this. I'm not physically checking it off, but um, I'm just kind of using it as like a guideline for things that I need to do for my zone cleaning in the house. And then I have a projects page and this is mostly geared towards, for me, is gonna just be geared towards stuff that I need to get done in the home. And I put, no, oh, I thought I put that in upside down, but no, just a pocket, nothing in it. And then this is an exercise one. Um, I think because I left these bottom ones for wellness, I think I may just put my exercise here, cause I'll say so. <laughs> This girl doesn't do a whole lot of exercise. I would love to. I'd love to be like some of y'all 20 and 30 year olds, but unfortunately mm, my body doesn't like exercise. So we do the best we can and I'm not sure this is realistic for me. <laughs> so, so I'm probably not going to use this. Um, and I just haven't taken it out of here yet. So anyway, then I just have all the rest of the months in here. And at the very back, I have another pack of stickers and another folder. And then I did put a little pen loop in there so I can keep my pen. And this is my absolute favorite pen of all time. Um, even with my fountain pens, this one still beats it. I, uh, oops, upside down. I absolutely love this pack of pens. I think I bought like four packs because that's how much I love it. It just writes so smoothly and, oh, love it. So anyway, that's it. That is my update for today for this book. This is the classic happy planner. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I can't say as though I can answer a whole ton because I am very new to happy planner. I am in no way, shape or form a happy planner guru. Like there are hundreds and hundreds of girls on YouTube that know happy planner inside and out. I am not one of them. <laughs> so, but this is working for me for this. And um, if you guys have questions, feel free. Like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And as another YouTuber says, tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.